Now let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Madhi Sakande. Mr. Sakande is the president at U3ARC and the founding member and general manager of New Gold System. He is also an expert trainer and assessor for the European Certification of Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Technicians in FTH Regulation. Holding a master's in refrigeration, he is an international expert and consultant for United Nations agencies, UNIDO, UNDP and UNEP, focusing on projects related to Montreal Protocol and its Kigali Amendment. Mr. Sakande currently is also the president of Union of Associations of African Actors in Refrigeration and Air Conditioning, where he develops capacity building training for African technicians in best practices and energy efficient refrigeration installation. Additionally, he is a member of the Refrigeration Technical Options Committee of the Ozone Secretariat, UNEP RTOC. Today, Mr. Sakande will share his insights on challenges related to the flammability of alternative refrigerants. So please welcome Mr. Madi. Thank you so much, uh, Dashna. Thank you, everyone. Good, good afternoon. To those who are in India, I'm currently in Italy, and uh, good morning to those who are in uh, Africa and around the world. So, uh, it's very important topic, the challenges with the new technologies, new refrigerant. We know the, the most we are facing is the climate change, and this bringing humanity to adopt the new refrigerant that unfortunately most of them if HFO, hydrocarbons and even ammonia that has a uh, professor Hanil said before ammonia is in industrial sector so we cannot take ammonia in account in terms of a question or matter of safety because ammonia no one has a technician in the the globe without training will go to fix ammonia uh, plant that's sure but regarding the other refrigerant as you know is almost uh, more than 70 years we are using um, the mixture refrigerants and all these refrigerants for 70 years none of them have the flammability issue meaning what the technician up to nowadays those who are alive of course because i don't think that uh, those who are under here are still technician in the field so those who are experiencing the ammonia or the other refrigerant we have uh, the past century the main challenge the main challenge we have to know is the lack of campaign of awareness all the world need a large campaign of awareness not only to the technician but to to mankind we have to understand the hand user have to understand that the new equipment the new technology we are providing of course they are welcome because we preserve our planet for future generation but we need to know also that it is very dangerous if the technician who will handle this equipment are not aware about the danger. The first thing is the campaign of awareness, not only among technicians, but everywhere. This is the first thing. We used to talk about training, training, training. I would like everyone to know who want to get training is who is aware that is he has a lack somewhere. When you talk to the technician who have almost 20, 30, or even 40 years of experiences doing something and you talk about training, but not telling him that you need a training because of the new refrigerant are completely different than the one you are using in the past this one will not be interested to be taken to training because when you talk about training they will say oh it's for young guys because i'm already experienced a technician i don't need to get training he's not aware that we are talking about something new 
So this something new I'm supposed to be in the campaign of the awareness first. The training, even the training in the countries, you know, in our realities in developing countries, I can talk about Africa as I know well because I travel for more than 20 countries and I'm connecting to all the associations in Africa. Very few technicians are able to get training because most of them are in the villages. They are not even get connection on the internet to be aware what's happening in the city. But the equipment are sending to those places. None last day than yes, two days ago, Sunday. Unfortunately, two people passed away in Zambia because of mishandling of R600A. And this is not the only one case. In one year in Africa, I can count more than six countries where we experience it. Unfortunately, death caused it by 600A, so in a small freezer. Imagine now we are pushing for flame refrigerant on split air conditioners. Imagine what will happen later on because we are not trained. We are not aware first. There is no regulations and no equipment because there is, we need also equipment. Even those who are getting training, we have a, as you said, I'm working for an agency. We used to train 15, 20 people by country where we have thousands of technicians. We don't even know how many technicians we have in this world. This is also another key. We need to make a global census of the technician across the globe to be sure that everyone is detected and getting informed and then training consequently. This is another issue we have. And when we are talking about training, 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 from the agency, we are able, because of a lack of funding, the very few funding we have, we train 20, 50 people per country, where you have thousands of technicians, or so-called technicians, we can say, because most of them, unfortunately, are self-made men. Even some of them never been at school. And the you to see the refrigerant is finished because they don't even know that there is a leak when the refrigerant is finished because there is a leakage in the system. And this is a very, I'm um, like a lot of issue, a lot of challenges we have to understand and we have to tackle because training 20 people in the country and saying this country is ready is a big mistake we can do for this country. And what we have also to remember, even in the same country, we turn back to make several meetings, trainings. We used to train the same people because in this country, when we go to get a training, they have a DSA. They give you money. So they want to, to do the training, not because they need a awareness, we need to understand. Because sometimes you, you meet the same people twice. They come because they during the training, the day of the training, they will get money back. So they come for the money. They are not coming because they are interested to the training. It's often to see the same trainers who get training going across the globe for the same training, but the, you train always the same people who will never share the training with the other people in the home the country. So it's very important, and I know institutions are here even to listen to this. It's very important and urgent to find a solution, to talk against about the matter of a new refrigerant. No one, no one, and I, I tell myself, I'm not against the new technology. I'm working on this. I'm a professional. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm living here in Italy. I have a factory. I'm manufacturing equipment with flammable refrigerants. But the handling, I don't sell it to everyone. So we need to involve the policymakers in the country because how the project are developed up to nowadays in terms of uh, Montreal Protocol, I mean, is managed from R22 to new refrigerant in the past, meaning R14A, 
407C, 407C. And then Kigali Amendment switched the matter to energy efficiency and also, of course, we know from uh, climate change. Now we need to share and to take and to tackle the issue differently than we did from passing R22 to 404 or 407C or 410A. Now the R219, R1217, uh, what else? Uh, all the new refrigerant, because they have ongoing refrigerant coming out, but all are flammable. So the campaign of awareness supposed to come up. The very few amount of money or fund we have at our disposition, we can take it to make a large campaign of awareness in the mainstream media. Make the mainstream media can make awareness to everyone. And then technicians, policy makers will understand that to have to have a policy, we have to have a regulation, a national law. And who want to make this activity need to get training. If you want to buy equipment, you need to get a certification as we did here. We are doing here in Europe with FGA regulation. In my company here, located in Bologna in Italy, no one can buy refrigeration equipment in my warehouse here if you don't have a certification. And this will be the only way we can tackle the climate change and, of course, preserve life of human beings. Because refrigeration in, in perspective of cold chain is very important for developing countries. As you know, I can even again talk about Africa, they are losing 70% of the crops. The post average loss is up to 70% in some countries, 70% in some countries, due to the lack of the coal chain. So imagine a continent where we produce a lot, but we are losing the food production, and they are going to beg for some food where we will create we pollute, transform it, and bring it to them with the meaning of a pollution. And then what they lost, 70%, is contribute to climate change also. Because the greenhouse gas coming from the crops is very important in African country. So I think it's very important to review how the project are managing and also how we are introducing there's helpful uh, technology to the environment, of course, but not so helpful for mankind nowadays. Because if we are caring about what will happen on one century or two centuries ahead, but we are not caring about human beings now, I think the climate will have change, will have meaning for human beings. If we continue to kill human beings and at the end we are no human in the world, I think refrigeration, uh, having a, 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 a greener world will be senseless for humanity. So I think it's very important. It's not never, it's never late to start to make a campaign of awareness because when I'm talking about the flammability, I don't talking for a, a, industry, a specific industry. I'm not talking about supporting a specific industry, but I'm talking about the issue we have with flammable refrigerant because those who are using the refrigerant today, we are not even aware about the flammability. We are not even aware about the change we are making for them that will affect their whole life and the life of the entire planet because when we clear air conditioner, we already starting in Africa. I know in India we have manufacturing and using. We are starting to use the uh, 219 split air conditioner without tools. The technician, they don't have any information, they don't have training, and they don't have even the tools. And you know very well that we cannot use the same equipment we are using for non-flammable refrigerant with the flammable refrigerants. Even in European country, in Italy, where I'm standing now and talking to you, not all the training, not all the technicians have the equipment for flammable refrigerants. 
So I think uh, we have a lot of challenges. But you, who say challenge, say meantime opportunities. Because all these challenges are also the opportunities to those who are making business on this matter. But I would like them to put first the human life. Because whatever we are doing is for human being, not against human being. And I think the technology, I, know, I don't want, in my humble person, in conscience, a scientist or refrigeration for our world. Some used to tell this, you have to do, supposed to do this, to do this in developing countries. And most of them never been even in developing country. They know developing country for Google, Google map and for uh, television. They need to get to this country and to understand the reality and to understand how people are living. And then they will understand that we have all scientists, right? We have all technicians. You know water. If you bring water in the freezer, what do you have? An ice. Oh. If you have an house in front of you and you are making your brainstream, your brainstorming how to use this water in the oven, you understand you will never work. And this is water because water in the oven is a vapor. Water in the freezer is ice. You can touch it. You can make brainstorming on how to use ice. But if you want to apply the same in the oven because we have temperature more to 100 degree the water will come vapor and then we never work and this is what's happening in our days because we used to say we need we need more training we need more things you know but you don't even know the reality we don't even know who is touching with people who pass away two days ago unfortunately we are far from the city we are in the villages we are not even aware what's happening we are even not aware about this kind of refrigeration, refrigerant and asking for training. Put a awareness first. All the amount of money we have for the project, put it on the campaign of awareness. Go on mainstream media and let people understand and know that the technology are flammable and can damage people, can create explosion fires. You will see everyone will ask for training before touching this equipment. But if you are not aware of the danger, of course, they will you as we did in the past. And unfortunately, we are already experiencing so much death in Africa. Some are reported, some are not. I'm sure not. I'm sure that this is not happening only in Africa. They are happening in many places in the world, but many of them are not been reported so campaign of awareness policy from of course policy makers trainings availability of tools and equipment certifications and of course organize all the entire sector of refrigeration sector we used to see a refrigeration sector, a refrigeration technique some has nobody. But now our modern life is on the head of with a refrigeration technician. If you are a refrigeration technician in front of a doctor, you will respect more of a doctor than the refrigeration technician. But because of the refrigeration technician, we have something to eat. Even we are talking to each other because of the data center cooling. We have food to eat, we have medicine. Whatever we have in our modern life is related to the refrigeration sector. So refrigeration tech, technician is most of the important people on our planet, but himself is not the one. And this is its time to globally review how refrigeration sector is and to have a well-organized refrigeration sector. Thank you so much for listening and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Sakande, for briefing us about the challenges related to flammability of alternative refrigerants.